hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to integrate opencv with react native and we will be doing it for new architecture now uh, this video will be specifically for react native ios i have already done it for react native android so if you are interested you can watch that video uh, first as usual create a react native project so i have already created it uh, next uh, we have to enable the new architecture so for that you can go to this documentation and you can just copy this command bundle install and then our rct new arc enabled one all this kind of stuff so i'll just go to my terminal i will cd to the ios directory and i'll run this command so you have to cd to the ios directory now this take this will take a little bit of time so be patient once the new, uh, command has been successful it will do some kind of pod install for you uh, once that is done you will have to open you will have to cd to uh, like go to your finder go to the ios folder where your react native app is located and open the xc workspace in xcode you will have to come to opencv.org slash releases you will have to click on this ios pack button it will download a zip file for you you will have to unzip it i have already done that as well and uh, apart from integrating opencv in react native ios i will also show you how to convert a normal rgb image to a grayscale image so that we know that opencv has been properly integrated inside our app new architecture has been enabled and i have opened the xc workspace of our ios folder inside xcode uh, next what we'll have to do we'll go to the downloads folder where we have unzipped the opencv file we'll go to our rn app over here so my project name is rn app but whatever is your project name uh, that open that and you will have to just drag and drop drag and drop it over here make sure you have all this checkbox checked i'll click on finish then i have written some steps over here because i don't uh, it's very difficult for me to remember all the steps once you drag and drop this will take a little bit of time for that open cv folder to be reflected so just be patient a little i think hopefully anytime soon so yeah here you can see the open cv2 folder has been reflected next we will just create like right click new file we will create an header file first next we will name it as opencv wrapper i'll click on create then i will just copy some code so i'll explain you the code as well uh, the problem is that opencv is written in c++ so we will have to use objective c++ so that we can uh, call our uh, object uh, that particular objective c++ code from swift so i will come back to that in a later bit so here uh, basically i'm trying to convert an rgb image to a grayscale image so these are from ios part as well foundation and ui kit and here we are defining an image called sorry not an image a method called grayscale image which takes a ui image and convert it to grayscale and uh, returns the ui image itself the converted image so we'll have to write the implementation for this so for that we will be creating an open objective c file so i will use the same name so i'll just right click new file objective c next go over here click next click create and here i'll change the extension to dot mm because we require objective c plus plus now it is not reflecting but i think that's fine that is an xcode bug here you should see m plus at the at the this symbol okay but if you reopen xcode then you should be able to see it now again i will just copy paste this code now this code is very difficult for me to understand because even i have copy pasted it from some place like online uh, so from the documentation itself so here you can see that we are defining a method called convert to mat so this will basically help us to convert an image from rgb to grayscale and here if you see we have defined that particular method which we have added inside our header file and it basically takes an image convert it to grayscale over here and return back the image to us so yeah you can just pause the video and if you want you can copy paste this code if you want to next uh, i have will have to create a prefix header right okay so i'll just create a prefix header new file okay i'll just search for pch click next 
uh, give the name as it is click create then inside prefix header we'll have to copy paste this bit of code and here i'll just copy paste this code and we can remove this okay so according to my understanding piece prefix header is basically used for communicating from objective c plus plus and c plus plus and swift so that it binds everything again that is my understanding i could be wrong uh, next you will have to go to your rn app go to build settings search for prefix header and here you will have to make this as yes okay so the next thing is we have to add this prefix header as well so for that this i think will be common for all you just have to use this dollar src root uh, slash prefix header dot pch uh, and just click on enter and it will enter uh, the proper pre prefix header for us now we also require an uh, bridging header file so for that to create this bridging header file just right click new file create some swift file you can uh, name it as whatever you like my swift doesn't really matter we want the bridging header so click on create bridging header then inside bridging header we'll have to copy paste this code so i'll go over here i'll just sorry go to bridging header copy paste this code now what you can do is you can just try to build this in case uh, now this building might take a little bit of time okay i'm getting some error i'll check that error and uh, let you know what exactly is the, the issue okay so for me the issue was that inside sign in and capabilities make sure you add your own account and uh, the second thing is uh, before building it like for building you have to do command b or control b uh, sorry command b mostly and make sure you connect your real ios device because this wo won't build on simulator otherwise uh, you will face a lot of issues it won't run on a simulator so it's better you, re you require an a real ios device for this so for me now the build has succeeded so if i try to do command b again uh, it will take a little bit of time but uh, it should build successfully okay again it is saying build fail let me check what is this it was very minor all i had to do was i had to change the bundle identifier because it was not allowing me to use the bundle identifier i have changed it also make sure you update the ios deployment target to 14 because we will be making use of ph4 ph picker for selecting the photos and uh, that's why we require at least a minimum deployment target to be 14 next what i'll do is i will write all the boilerplate code for picking a photo from a photos app uh, then uh, displaying it inside an image view and converting it to grayscale so i will write all that code and get back to you so the code which i will be showing you now has nothing to do with opencv the opencv part is done now we only need to integrate how to uh, like pick an image from the photos app as well as uh, how to uh, display it inside an image view for displaying the image inside an image view i won't be using the normal image view component i will tell you the reason why as the, as well but the code which you will be seeing from now has nothing to do with opencv and for displaying the image inside the native image view component i will be making using of fabric native component so i will be copying a lot of code from this documentation so it's better you keep this documentation handy so first you will have to install this library for picking photos also so just install this library and uh, you will have to run this command so uh, while uh, you will just have to run this command so, so that for the new architecture you will have to do pod install something like this but you should not be in the ios directory you should be in the root directory of your react native project if you are in the ios directory then uh, you will have to run something like this so just run this command okay so once you have installed that dependency uh, next we will be creating our fabric native component now why i'm not using a normal image view from react native if you remember we have written all this open cv code right how will you now to access this open cv code you have to make use of this open cv wrapper and this open cv wrapper requires a ui image now how will you uh, take convert if you are using the normal image component how will you use open cv wrapper how will you pass ui image so that's the reason why we have to create a native component so yeah let's get started on creating this fabric native component keep the documentation handy so first create this folder called rtn my image view inside that i have created this package.json file 
and i have copy pasted everything from the docs only this name has been changed this has been changed and this has been changed next i have created a pod spec file again i have created copied everything from the docs and only this name has been changed next i have created a javascript js folder inside that i have created a typescript file again the naming is important it depends on the folder what you have so be, please copy the name as well don't give your own name and again i have copy pasted everything from the docs here our prop is url which we will get from once the user has picked a photo and this name has been changed once you do all of this stuff so i'll just remove all this next what you'll have to do you'll have to open your terminal go to the root of your react native project first you will have to run this command okay then you will have to do cd dot dot it will move you outside your react native project then you will have to run this command but here instead of rn app you will have to write your own project name my project name is rn app that's why i'm using it over here over here as well as over here but in your case you should write your own project name once you do that you will again have to cd to your project then cd to the main ios folder and then you will have to run this command over here okay so this will do code generation uh, so this generated folder which you see will be generated by all these three commands and also inside your node modules this uh, file would this folder would be created package would be installed basically uh, once that is done you will again have to open xcode also before running all this code make sure xcode is in uh, xcode is closed okay uh, because even if you keep X, xcode open xcode will display a pop-up like uh, do you want to read from disk or do you want to read from memory click on read from disk okay uh, anyways coming back to xcode here i have created a few files firstly you have to create this header file again i have copy pasted it from docs in the docs they have specified that create an ios folder and inside that you will have to create this header then this objective c++ file the reason why i'm directly creating this uh, inside xcode itself because i want to access opencv if i create uh, an ios folder over here and create all the file i won't be able to access opencv that's why i've done it over here itself directly so first i have created a header file again i have copied it from docs only this name has been changed next i have created this manager class you will have to create an objective c file and you will again have to change the extension to dot mm which is objective c plus plus again i have copy pasted everything from the docs only this name changes this changes and this changes and given that our prop had a name called url we are passing it over here then you will have to create again an objective c file and change the extension to dot mm which is objective c plus plus again i have copy pasted everything from the docs this name has been changed at appropriate lines everything else remains the same and here uh, we uh, i don't think we, yeah we need this okay so our bridging header name so my bridging header name is rn app right which you can see over here rn app dash bridger dash header so in your case it should be whatever is your bridging header name dash swift dot h will be common for all then uh, in the docs they have specified import something like this but given that we are writing this directly inside xcode you will have to comment this import but and use something like this then again this has been copied from docs this has been copied from docs only names has been changed uh, this has been copied from docs here we are creating a ui view and here we are creating a variable for our swift file called my image view so i will have created a swift file as well my image view i'll come back to that in a bit uh, there is no necessity for creating this swift file uh, the reason is that i am not really good at objective c plus plus i'm uh, decent in swift that's why the main logic of uh, displaying the image from a url and calling our open cv wrapper in swift i have done it in swift because i'm better at it uh, otherwise if you're comfortable you can write the swift logic inside this objective c plus plus file itself then this has been copied from docs only this name has been changed this has been copied from docs this as well here we are just initializing our ui view and here we are initializing our image view uh, the swift file and adding it as a sub view then this has been copied from docs here we are getting our url and we are just assigning to our swift file so i have created this variable inside our swift file as well again this names has been changed everything has been copied from docs this has been copied from docs only this names has been changed 
now we will have to create a swift file called my image view inside that i have created we require we are extending from ui view i have imported photos as well and i have created a url or variable so once we get the url we convert it into ui image using this particular code then here we use open cv so open cv wrapper and we call the method grayscale image pass our ui image it gives us it gives us a grayscale image and we just display it inside our image view now again this is boilerplate code so again so here we are just writing some ns layout constraints to our image view initializing our url and this is boilerplate code which you have to write okay once this is done uh, you will again have to go come back to app.tsx okay one more thing so i'll remove this so inside info.plist you will also have to add photo library usage description permission next over here you can import your rtn image view something like this and i have imported react native image packer the launch image uh, library method so once uh, in i have created one variable as well for that and on press of a button so i have created one button and press of it i am taking media type as photo and if everything is proper if there is some issue i'm just doing console log but if everything is proper then i'm just setting the uri to our set image uri uh, use state and here you can see if this image uri is not equal to empty that means there is some value in it then we are displaying rtn my image view passing our url which is our image uri setting some style as well uh i think that should be it now uh, let's see how the output looks like so the next thing here is the output so i have one button called pick image if i click on it it ask me it will ask you for a permission i have already given that permission because i was previously testing it back now i will select one image and here you can see the image has been displayed in grayscale now the ui might not look proper you can work on it uh, but yeah uh, it is what it is thank you for watching bye